What's up, everybody? This is A Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Venus conjunct Pluto. So Venus is about love, creativity, peace, harmony, also luxury. It has to deal with beauty, the way that you give love and the way that you want to be loved back in return. So Pluto is about death, rebirth, transformation, sex, astrology, the occult, hidden knowledge, hidden information, crisis situations, along with betrayal. But it also has to deal with topics that people do not want to discuss um, or talk about. It is about intensity. It is about um, raw sexuality. So when you are linking these into um, a conjunction, this is going to be a powerful aspect. If you have this in your natal birth chart or if you know someone that has this in their natal birth chart, this aspect is going to be stronger than the square or, and even the opposition. Okay, so Venus conjunct Pluto is going to be the most powerful one of them all when it comes down to the aspects, when it comes down to be strongly felt. So this gives the individual a magnetic aura and they will be attracted to money and intimate, committed, intense relationships. However, these individuals will have strong fears of abandonment, um, being alone. Um, they really fear being betrayed by their partners. So because of this, they can definitely um, not really be trusted when they are in a relationship. Um, they can really... Seek out to bond with somebody on the most deepest level. But even when you're seeking out to bond with somebody on the most deepest level, you can um, become absolutely lost into that relationship. They seek out intensity. They seek out um, sexual intensity. And they want to know how far love can go. They want to know how deep is your love for me? This is how they're looking at it. So you can have a tendency towards jealousy and being extremely possessive. These can definitely be the type of people that you are in a committed relationship with. And they want to know your every movement, want to stop your movements, don't want you to go here, don't want you to go there, don't want you to talk to this person anymore, don't want you to talk to that person anymore, and things like that. This is how it can play out um, with them. They really want you all to their self. So... It is said that Venus conjunct Pluto, men and women, do seek out to possess their partners to some degree, to some extent, wanting their undivided attention, wanting the ultimate control in the relationship. These individuals do have a controlling nature about them, and you will be attracted to karmic relationships into your life. So the people that they get into these intense, powerful, sexual relationships with are definitely people that they have fucked with in their past life. They're here to um, pay a karmic debt, smooth things over, see if things can um, work out, give it another shot. This is what's going on with this placement. When they are into these committed relationships, this aspect also does give you powerful sexual vibes. So these people are very sexy. They are very intriguing, alluring, magnetic, charismatic, Okay, it is something about them that makes you want to know more about who they are, more interested in um, what they are all about. So you can also use sex as a weapon and you can also decide that you want to get money for sex. Okay, so some people that have this may decide that they want to get into the sex industry. They may even decide that they want to be a stripper, get into porn. Or just get bread out of people because this is really highlighted for someone that can actually be a gold digger. Someone that's actually out to get you for your money, get you for your bread. Okay? You know how sometimes um, people are um, opportunists. Okay? This is strong placement for that. Someone that can definitely be an opportunist to seek out what they want for themselves. This aspect can also push into... Um, in the past life, okay, you could have been um sexually abused, you could have been raped, or you could have been um a victim of um incest, okay, in your life. And even though this is um 
stems from past life. This can also happen in their present life too, okay, where incest is involved, even rape is involved, or sexual abuse is involved. And these individuals can really um, have a rough time, a hard time dealing and coping with um, things that went on and took place in their actual life. Okay, um, they are going to be the type of partners that are very suspicious, very cautious, and not as trusting as other partners may be. Okay, and yes, I got my book out today. I wrote everything down. So now there will be many secrets in their house. Okay. The childhood home that they grew up in, it's many secrets, things that are not fully said that should have been said. It could have been full with violence, okay? Um, even abuse, physical abuse could have been going on. Mental abuse could have been going on in these individuals' lives, okay? And they can actually um, be addicted to intense and powerful love relationships. They are not superficial individuals. They seek out the intensity. They want to be able to merge with you, bond with you. They love to be able to feel like they are being fully appreciated and loved in a relationship. But there is going to be some stormy confrontations because these individuals could actually get involved with people that are going through crisis situations in their life, going through um, emotional trauma in their world, okay? And they can really seek out to want to know every fucking thing about them, all their secrets, everything they've been through, people that they dealt with and fucked with. They want to know it all. Yes, they do. So they can actually lose their complete self in search for intense, powerful, emerging with someone else. You can become obsessed with wanting to possess your partner. All right. So these men and women do need to learn how to love and what love is fully, truly all about and not how they make love out to be. Relationships can be filled with drama due to looking and desiring intensity and excitement in relationships. So these are also the type of people that can be hooked up with somebody, involved with somebody. And if the relationship is not filled with drama, obstacles, mountains to climb, hell and hot water, they can um, decide that they want to move on to something more thrilling and more exciting. Okay, um, they are the type of people that are about that rough love, tough love. Okay, so they can take a lot of blows themselves and they want their partners to be able to take it too. Take it to the extreme. So you would do excellent in astrology, alchemy, psychology, being a detective, even a private investigator. This is what they can perfect and even be masters at. They hate injustice. They love fairness. They love um, for things to be going a certain kind of way. So if there is issues out in the world, they will definitely um, speak up and speak out about what is going on in society, how things are being ran, and they don't like it. They are those type of people. Okay, now back into the relationships. Their relationships are a serious matter to them in their life and also their well-being. So a lot of times you will find people that have this um, constantly and consistently in committed relationships. Okay, um, don't get it twisted. Yes, they can be um, single and do their own thing. And as a matter of fact, they will have a long list of casual encounters. But what they really seek out is the more committed, intimate, passionate, intense relationships. This is what drives them. This is what pushes them. This is what also motivates them. Okay. Now, jealousy and possessiveness, manipulation and crime may be a result in disgrace or embarrassment to these individuals. Even though they do hold this with inside of their selves, they can be highly and extremely manipulative, even possessive. Okay. Um, all the way to the point of being controlling. These are the type of people where you are dating them. They can get mad at when a cousin gives you a hug. Okay, when their brother gave you a hug and things like that. They don't like feeling like you may be trying to be up to something. And I'm talking about the other person, not the person in the relationship. But the person in the relationship is definitely going to hear the bullshit later on on how much they didn't fucking like it and how you were trying to be seen and things of that nature. So moving along, the negative manifestation can also result in self-abuse through drugs or forms of self-harm. 
So you do got to be cautious about um, this aspect because a lot of people with this, they can be alcoholics. They can be people that um, do heavier drugs, pop mollies, do coke, do crack, okay, and things like that. Yes, it can go to the extremes with this. It doesn't have to, but they could definitely be overly sexed on top of that. Okay, as I previously said before, this does push over to uh, the individual probably in youth or when they were young dealing with sexual abuse or maybe even being raped. Okay, this is also linked to sadomasochism. So you do have to be cautious with this um, particular placement. You can become a victim of betrayal or abuse going through a lot of pain each time. You have been stung. So this can be a vicious repeating cycle where the individual is being betrayed by someone they care deeply about, someone that they love so much, and they betrayed them on um, to the highest level, to the highest octave. However, you can always draw on a powerful ability to transcend your pain and then transform your life. So because of the storms that they will encounter and have to endure, they have the capability and the ability to be able to transform who they are through their circumstances, through their intimate relationships, through their committed relationships. You want to know everything about your partner, all their secrets, and you want to know how deep their love can go for you. Okay, so this can lead the individual that has Venus conjunct Pluto into self-sacrificing through an enormous need to be able to bond with somebody. For them, sex is powerful, it is about power, and it has to do with magic. Okay, so pain so pain in love is often felt from these people, okay? They usually do get involved with people that are a bad girl, a bad guy, someone that is emotionally disturbed, someone that's going through a crisis situation, someone that um, is a broken person individual, a broken person. Um, so they link up um, with these people that are going through things, people that may even be bipolar, okay, out of control, hard to tame and things like that. This is what they're drawn to. And they want to try to mesh with it, bond with them on the most deepest level. They can seek out partners that also would um, kill for them or die for them, a ride or die kind of dude, a ride or die kind of chick. This is what they want. Oh, yes, they do. So now they also will be gifted, okay, by the universe with financial wisdom. So they will be financially wise. They're going to be good with money, how to calculate money, how to pull the money in, how to go out there and get the money and get the bread. They're going to know how to do it. All right, Venus conjunct Pluto, individuals can find it extremely hard to let go of love relationships. They feel like when they're in love, they're giving their all, they're giving it all they got. Even though they can be demanding, emotionally demanding, possessive, jealous, and they have a jealous streak out of this motherfucking world, okay? But they do need to dim that down quite a bit and understand what love is really about, okay? You don't have to be so intense in those areas just because you're seeking out the intensity. So you can be involved in relationships where partners don't completely belong to you or someone can't completely fully have or someone that you can't completely have fully in this lifetime. So this gets a little tricky. They can be in several different love affairs. They can be um, with someone that's still married to someone else. They can be with someone that's still in love with someone else or still fucks with somebody else from time to time. Okay. Now, this is not always going to be the case, but definitely they can be in love with someone that is not fully out of something or fully accessible to them in this lifetime. Sexual jealousy may play a major role in these individuals' lives along with being vindictive, having a lot of vindictiveness inside of them, rage and also revenge. So these people are the type of people that can be very vengeful. Um, when things go on and take place, they can build up a lot of anger and rage with inside of them. Um, for them, it's not even repressed because they do express it 
oh, very fucking clearly to you on how they feel, what they don't like, and things like that. But they have a rage in their soul. And the rage in their soul is really stemming from things that went on early on in childhood. As I previously said before, um, they could have dealt with some extreme things in the household along with violence, okay? In the household. So you will have the ability to look into the core of people. These are the type of people that can see through people. Hidden agendas and hidden motives. You can see into individuals behind their layers. All right. They are about seeking out the truth and they want to know everything. They want to know who the fuck you really are on the most deepest level. You will have a deep capacity to understand your love interests. You may have a long line of casual encounters, which I previously said before, and your committed relationships can feel absolutely faded or destined. Okay, these people actually um, do find themselves in these karmic relationships where um, it's a lot of feeling like you've known them before. Okay, and they will find that the people that they decide to fucking deal with are people from their past lives. Um, whether you did something wrong to them or you were there for them and now they're here to help you, whatever the case may be. But your relationships are faded because they are destined. They are. They're destined for you to go through these emotional um, feelings and intensity to really find out what love is truly about and what it really means to you. So I'm going to leave this on this note for now. In future videos to come, I will go more into depth into the Venus conjunct Pluto. I know that this was a request from someone that wanted me to do this probably about three, four months ago, but I'm acknowledging that request today. Anybody that needs their chart to be analyzed, please hit me up. I got you. Okay. I do have the sale still going on. Birth charts um, are $90. Sinistry charts are $130, okay, at the moment. Any information that you need, please be sure to look at the About section on my YouTube channel so you can see all the prices and the services that I do have available to you. On another note, anywhere you see $130, it's going to be $90. Anywhere you see $160, it's going to be $130. And when it comes down to the tarot card reading... You will see in the about section that it does say 80 but the current price going on when it comes down to the sale, it is $40 for a tarot card reading for anybody that wants that. So, anybody needs a caterer, be sure to hit me up. I am the Chef Goddess also at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. Anybody need any help to their home, swimming pool, or business, be sure to hit my husband up at nesbit 90 at gmail.com. Anybody interested in the eight-week course, please be sure to hit me up for the eight-week course. You do have to pay the $555 in full before you start October 4th, 2021. Okay, 2021, that's right. So, this has been A Force of Nature. Spiritual awakening, love is love. Peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you on the next one.